creation of the Albany Bulb Peninsula began in 1939 and is a relic of almost a century of systematic filling of the shallow bay and its adjacent wetland. The bulb proper, the round hill at the tip of the peninsula, was created in 1963 after the city of Albany and Santa Fe, which owned the land, signed a contract for the disposal of construction debris. This filling was largely halted by efforts of Save the Bay from the 1960s to the 1980s when lawsuits against the landfill operator brought the dumping to a halt in 1983. This means the bulb is made of mostly of construction debris such as concrete and rebar, all of which is still very visible. Because the bulb is geographically unorganized and the Albany Police Department had for a long period of time been given orders to not enforce the law barring camping, the Albany bulb is often described as anarchistic. Starting in the early 1990s, the Albany Bulb was home to a community of otherwise homeless folks who lived there on and off for nearly 20 years, despite a lack of official permission from the city of Albany. Their presence was generally tolerated, so long as the number of residents remained low. The population living on the bulb grew to approximately 50 or 60 folks in early 1999, leading to a mass eviction by the city later that summer. Homeless folks began to filter back over the next few years, including many of those who had been evicted in 1999, and by early 2013, the population had again grown to more than 40. During this time, the bulb became an ad hoc public art show. Most of the works use the existing refuse found in the bulb, while some pieces are brought in. In 2014, evictions of the homeless encampments were conducted again. The main trails were widened and leveled to allow for greater motor vehicle access. Police patrols were increased and vegetation was cut back for several years to prevent further camping. In 2016, the Albany City Council approved plans to create a city park out of the space. Although the agreement holds no legal weight, it sets the foundation for the city to approve budget funds for the park.
environmental protections, as well as understanding of the dangers of building on unconsolidated fill, makes it extremely unlikely the bulb will ever be developed. This means the unstructured and ad hoc artistic nature of the park will remain for many years to come. If you ever visit the San Francisco Bay Area, I highly recommend you add this to your list of things to do.